So, welcome back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create the hair simulation. So, let's add a cylinder and delete the faces and scale it down and fit the top of the head. Alright, so let's separate the view, scale it. Uh, the idea behind this, we have to create the second hair, that means the fake hair. So that will simulate and use the surface deform to animate the hair. So we are going to create a fake shape here using the proportional editing tools and make sure it's always outside of the hair. Mm, make sure it doesn't collapse with the original hair. Let's add the shrink wrap modifier and select the original hair and outside surface and adjust the offset a little bit. Now that's good. So I'm going to set the shapes and doing this little bit of professional editing. Make sure you don't get any overlap vertices or any fucking edges. Alright, so let's proceed the process. I'm doing a perfectly quad surface, not any overlapping issues. Try to fix that. Now add the subdivision surface modifier and apply the shrink wrap modifier. Now go into a sculpt mode and fix the shape with the grab tool and whatever tool you want to use. Just fix this. Alright, I'm gonna name this as a fake hair and make sure it's disabled in the render view. Now create a vertex group and select the top faces and hit assign. Now go into the weight paint mode and adjust the brush with the soft brush and adjust the whiteness. Nice. Now it's time for to create a vertex group for original hair. Create a surface deform with the name and go into the weight pin mode and select this tool. I don't know the name of that tool. Just click and drag from right there and use the smooth brush tool to smooth the weights. Alright, now go into the rig mode. Well, we have a problem that is not parented with our rig. But you can do this with the control P and select the bone option. But I'm not gonna use this. So I'm gonna use the constraints with the selected rig and use this name with the bone selection that's right i prefer to use the constraint instead of parenting with the bone now go into animation tab add the cloth simulation copy these settings for your simulation and enable the object collision and self collision too and give the quality of 10 or 15 and now we have to create the head colliding part because our head will move and we have to add some colliding parts so select this head part and press shift d and p for a separate selection and i'm gonna rename this as a collider head add the collision and copy these settings and i'm gonna do the same thing for a eye mask and i don't know the what the fuck is this name of eye mask all right now let's play the animation Add the pressure around the minus 50 and the gravity 0.8. Always play with these settings with the gravity and the weights and the pressure and you will get the fun results. Time to fun part. Add the surface deform to the original hair and move with the top of the subdivision surface. Select the fake hair with the eyedropper tool and assign the vertex group that we have created. And make sure it's inverted cause we have did the inverted weight treatment and hit the bind. And now select the fake here, go to the physics property and hit the bake. And there you go, you have a hair simulated. But we have problem that it is getting inside of the head. What I will do, I will freeze the frame at the center of the simulation and hit the unbind and bind again. Now it's good. And now add the animation to our character. Uh, it's something wrong, we have to bake it again. Select the fake here and go into the physics property and delete the bake and bake again. Ta-da! Now enable the surface deform. And what's wrong with this? It's creepy. What the f Okay, I got it. Move the surface deform in the top of the armature. And now it's good. You have a hair simulation. Ta-da! Alright, now you can create anything whatever you want. 
So let's go and LFG. Thank you and bye.